Today we are building a giant flood crossing using Waratah flood posts and it's a big deep one. So our strategy for building this is we've got six Waratah flood posts. Dave's got the six mil cable there, it's also a Waratah product. And then we've got these giant D6 gripples to allow us to adjust the tension. So we're going to run out and work out how much cable we need. And then we're going to lay the flood posts down in the bottom of the gully. After filling them with a little bit of water, you put a little bit in for ballast so that they hang vertically. And we'll lay them all out in the bottom of the gully, adjust our cable, get it tight, and then we'll run five plane wires underneath. And job done, easy as that. Now let's get into it. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> <laughs> Cody's gonna be in the video. Hey. Oh, I'll swap with Cody then. <laughs> we don't want that blonde haired Yahoo in the video. How do you feel about that, Cody? Yeah, pretty <laughs> famous to be honest. <laughs> so, just a quick little demonstration on how these actually work. Put a cable through the top and then run from point A to point B, and when the water comes, they lift up like <coughs> And then the aim is to have all your plane wires sitting above the wire, so then all the debris and stuff goes under it. And then when the rain, the water goes, it goes back. <coughs> Cool! This is a super large D6 gripple, specially made for this cable. So we're just going to turn it through like so. Righto. And we learnt from the first time that we did this that you need to allow a little bit of length there to play with. So we'll come back to this once we've run all the posts through. There's a locking function here. We'll leave it in the unlocked position for now. Right oh, no. so now we'll start distributing these down the gully. So now we've got to cut some cable at 400 mil so we can sit it on top of the posts so we can lock them into place. distributed them roughly where we need to be and we've got a clamp on the downhill side here we'll do that up lightly so we can get up on the bank and look at the gaps and try and work out exactly where they need to be but we've roughly identified we want two on this side two in the bottom and two on the other side of the gully we're just going to get it roughly up into the air and then Dave's going to have a look from up on the bank and work out our exact gaps because we don't think it's quite right but we'll put a bit of tension on and we'll see so now it's up in the air, we can see the spacing's a bit better. So we're going to move the one where Jimmy's at down a bit, and the second one in the bottom there down a bit further, and the third one down a bit as well, just to um, make it flow a bit nicer. So we put two clamps on either side of the post, just to try and give it more strength when a giant flood comes down here and it's swinging about and bouncing about. So we'll just tighten these up. Now, so we've chucked all of our extra cables on, we've distributed all the flood posts where we need them to be, we've got our big gripple loosely on here, and we just grab our gripple strainers, so now we tighten the gripple exactly as you do with a normal wire, except it's a big thick cable. So I'm just tying some tails off for the gripples to go on while the boys running the wires out that way. So we're all doing something useful. So this is Cody's attempt. This is his second his knot. Second knot. Third there he knot. goes. Can you run us through the process as you do it? So come around, over, and then come back over like that, under so come up tight 
and then feed it back through. And then we come back over and under. <laughs> Go little rock star. <laughs> Dude's nailing this. <laughs> nah, I f it. It looks so good. <laughs> Look at you go. And then you just give it to Dave. You <laughs> versus the guys to tell us you not to worry about. <laughs> so, to lock these big D6 ripples off, they come with a Allen key. Once you've got it into the right position, just put the Allen key in there and lock it and then it can't be adjusted and can't come undone we'll trim this up here in a minute now we've just got to finish tightening our normal ripples we're just doing these sort of just just off being loose so that the whole thing flexes when the water hits it flicks around like so and get rid of our tails done we've just got to now tidy up the end of this and the job is finished Walter's fencing two whole plates by now so we are all done we've got six Waratah flood posts hanging up in the gully cables all tight she's good to go